morning, everybody. Welcome to story time. I thought we would sing a good morning song. Can you show me your hands? Good job. Did you bring your knees to story time? I always bring my knees to story time. Did you bring your feet to story time? It looks like some of you forgot your feet. No, you have them. Okay. So let's clap and then we're going to tap our knees and then we're going to stomp. All right. So let's clap. Clap your hands, it's story time, story time, story time. Clap your hands, it's story time. Let's get started. Let's tap our knees. Tap your knees, it's story time, story time, story time. Tap your knees, it's story time. Let's get started. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. Stomp your feet, it's story time, story time, story time. Stomp your feet, it's story time. Let's get started. Are you ready to get started? Awesome. So today I thought we would talk about dogs. This is my friend Scooter that I've had for a very long time and I thought we would talk about all things puppies because I love dogs. Don't you love dogs? Awesome. Okay. The first book we're going to read is called My Dog Laughs by Rachel Isadora. Does your dog laugh at home? Sometimes. My dog, Lucy, who lives in New York with my parents, she laughs all the time. She's such a kidder. All right, so here we go. I meet my dog. I name my dog. This is Olivia, which is my name. This is River. And this is Paco, Munchie, Daisy, and Josie. Look at all those dogs. My dog looks like me. Nice smile, nice eyes, nice graceful feet. My dog dances. <gasps> nice posture. Can you sit up? Nice posture. Nice red hair. My dogs look like each other. They're sisters. My dog is as big as me. My dog is so small. My dog and cat are the same size. Getting to know my dog. My dog loves belly rubs. Can you rub your own belly? Yeah. Mine likes to watch TV with me. Do you have a dog at home that watches TV with you? That's so great. My dog likes to lick. Mine too. My dog is sad when I leave. My dog cries. My dog follows me everywhere, even into the bathroom. Mm -mm. My dog farts a lot. Pee, you Winston. Those dogs. My dog gets checkups, just like me. My dog likes to cuddle. Can you give yourselves a hug? Nice. My Sometimes my dog sleeps in my bed. Sometimes I sleep in his bed. My dog likes to sleep a lot. And my dog dreams. going out with my dog. My dog wears a collar, a name tag, and a leash. My dog has a red harness and mine has a blue leash. Sometimes my dog wears a coat, a sweater, a raincoat, or boots. Look at those silly dogs. In the car, we all wear our seat belts. Have you ever seen a dog wearing a seat belt? I have. My sister has a dog named Hank, and he always wears a seatbelt when he's in the car. I take my dog outside when he has to pee. Good boy, Rocco. When my dog poops, I clean up after him. My dog loves going to the park. My dog has lots of friends. <laughs> my dog eats worms. My dog chases squirrels, but he never catches any. My dog howls at fire, I, fire engines. My dog barks at skateboards. My dog plays. My dog plays with her friends. My dog plays with me. My dog can catch anything. My dog likes to do all the things I do. We paint, we dance, we dress up. 
we dig, we watch the waves. My dog snuggles. I love my dog. My dog makes me feel better when I am sick. My dog loves me even when I strike out. My dog celebrates my birthday. My dog sings. My dog waits for me. Mine helps with my homework. Mine is always happy to see me. Mine too. Is your dog always happy to see you? I'm sure they are. My dog thinks I'm funny. My dog laughs. Very good job listening. Give yourselves a round of applause. Friends, we're going to sing about a dog that we might all know and love. Their name is Bingo. And in the song of Bingo, we are going to lose a letter each time we sing it. And we're going to clap when we lose a letter. Or if you have an egg shaker home, you can shake or you could stomp your feet or you could jump up and down. But I'm going to shake. Ready? Okay. There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. -o. So now we're going to lose the B. So instead of saying B, we're going to clap, shake, jump, stomp, whatever you want to do. Ready? There was a farmer who had a dog and Bingo was his name. -o. I -N -G -O. I -N -G -O. I -N -G -O. and Bingo, Bingo was his name. -o. Good job. So now we are going to lose the I. We're going to lose the B and the I, the first two letters. So we're going to clap twice, jump twice, stomp twice, or shake twice. Ready? There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh. N-G-O. N-G-O. N-G-O and bingo was his name. Oh. Okay. So we've lost the B, the I, what comes after that? The N, we're gonna lose the N. So we're gonna clap three times, we're gonna jump three times, we're gonna stomp three times, or we're gonna shake three times. Ready? There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, Geo, Geo, Geo and bingo was his name. Oh. Good job. So we lost the B, we lost the I, we've lost the N. What comes after that? The G, we're gonna lose the G. So we are going to clap four times. We're gonna jump four times. We're gonna stomp four times. Or we're gonna shake four times. Ready? There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and bingo was his name. Oh. And now we're going to lose all the letters. All the letters are gone. So we're going to shake five times. We're going to clap five times. We're going to jump up and down five times. Or we're going to stomp five times. And then we're not going to say any letters. Ready? There was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh. And bingo was his name. Oh, did you jump 15 times? That's how many times you had to jump. Oh my goodness. That's a good workout. Now we're just going to sing the song again. We're just going to sing about bingo. So there was a farmer who had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O. 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 And bingo was his name. Oh, good job, everybody. All right, friends, so our final book about puppies is a local favorite. Ivy's a real dog, and she lives in Massachusetts. And so this is her story. It's called Ivy the Very Determined Dog by her owners, Chris and Maureen Harrington, and illustrated by Charlotte Bruin. This is the story of a dog named Ivy. 
She loved to run, play, and she was always lively. Look at her. Who is she chasing? What is that? That's a crab and a duck. Classic Ivy. Strong and fast, though she was small. So much fun and loved by all. Look at all her dog friends hanging out in the dog park. One cold winter's night, tired and lame, lame Ivy howled, my back is in pain. Oh, poor Ivy. Her family wanted the pain to go away, so they packed up her toys for a hospital stay. The doctor said softly, we need to talk. It'll now be hard for Ivy to walk. Poor Ivy. Ivy and her parents had tears in their eyes. This challenging news came as quite a surprise. Several days passed and Ivy turned to glum. I miss my back legs and I want to have fun. Dreaming of when she ran free, Ivy thought, it's up to me. I'm different, but that's okay. I'm still Ivy. I love to play. There's Ivy sleeping. The next day, when she woke up to eat, it happened. She could walk on two feet. The phrase, I can't, turned into, I can. I will walk again. That is my plan. She grew stronger and stronger each step she took. I know I can do it, was her new outlook. Look at her. Ivy soon made a new friend. His name was Eddie. I know how you feel. I've been through this already. That's Eddie. Here's a wheelchair. It's my gift to you. Now you can run fast like you used to. She rolled through the park with her head held high. Her new wheels made her feel like she could fly. There she is chasing those ducks again. Ivy was happy with what she had done. She never gave up or stopped having fun. Ivy, the very determined dog, was her new name. Although she was different, she was really the same. Nothing had changed. Always remember when you're down in the dumps, the story of Ivy and all her triumphs. And there's Ivy. So Ivy, just keep on rolling whatever you do and never let your troubles get the better of you. Ivy gets to enjoy time with her family. And this is the real Ivy. Here's some pictures of the real Ivy. Ivy is from Gloucester, so she's very close by. Let's see, let's see what they say. How did Ivy lose the use of her back legs? Ivy was diagnosed at age three with a genetic spinal de disease called inver invertebral disc disease. The deeper meaning behind her new nickname, Ivy, the very determined dog, comes from the acronym of her disease, IVDD. What is Ivy's favorite activity? When she's not rolling around town, she can be seen catching up on sleep. Ivy is a very big fan of belly rubs. Who are Ivy's best friends? Her girlfriends, Annie, the black lab, and Hazel, the yellow lab, and her boyfriend, Banks the Boxster. Boxer. There they all are hanging out. Who is Eddie in the book? Ivy's wheels were custom made by Eddie's wheels in Shelburne Falls, Massachusetts. It's only fitting that her friend in the park was named Eddie. What's Ivy's favorite food? Cheese. When is Ivy's birthday? December 1st, 2013. So she's six years old. She's six years old. What is Ivy's favorite toy? A purple unicorn because it's magical, just like her. And you can follow Ivy on Instagram as at Ivy the Frenchie. You can see her rolling around the beach. And so that's Ivy. There she is. All right, it was very nice reading these books about dogs with you and singing about bingo. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye.